Austin is loving, caring, super affectionate. He's extremely playful. He has a great sense of humor. He is considerate, kind. He really does love his family. He's just a great kid. Henry's eight years old. He's smart. He asks us if he can make his own math problems. He's very clever. Curious. Curious for sure. He's certainly not afraid to like try a zip line or try a climbing wall. So, you know, he's, he's kind of a little fearless. Aiden is loving, affectionate, athletic. He is really smart. He's caring. He's inquisitive. He's really a great kid. I want to play ground. Autism should not prohibit an individual from being connected to their family, being connected to other children, the adults that they work with day in and day out. We gradually remove the barriers that may prohibit someone with autism from connecting to the people around them and build meaningful relationships. This group within the module is really unique. The common interests really lends to opportunities for learners to play together and do things that they enjoy together, which then allows us to promote a lot of peer interaction. Aiden was developing pretty normally. He was talking and walking and meeting his milestones. And then just before he was two, Bobby started saying, hey, you know, he doesn't say this word anymore. And eventually, he wasn't saying most of his words anymore, and he wasn't turning around to his name and not making eye contact at all. It just slowly regressed, and then he was diagnosed with regressive autism and actually speech apraxia. And Linda went to the neurologist. He said that Aiden would never speak and was pretty firm about it. It was a, um, a really tough moment. When Aiden first joined PCDI, he did not have any vocal speech. And beyond that, he did not have any of the prerequisites to acquire vocal speech. Aiden, do this. Arms up, super arms up. PCDI taught him to make eye contact and then to imitate. And those two skills, though they sound so simple, are crucial early on because without that, all the other skills he's gained would never have come. It was a long and slow process that took years to really build up to him being able to communicate with some spoken word. And in the meantime, Aiden needed a way to be effective in communicating to the people around him. And his AAC device really gave him that. AAC is augmentative and alternate communication. Aiden is learning to use an application on his iPad to communicate with others. Eventually, he started learning some simple words. Pumpkin. It's a pumpkin. Pumpkin. And now we're at the point where we're trying to put it into sentences. I, li I like sweet. Because the language is in there. It's just finding a way for him to be able to express it. He's been here five years, and we've just gotten to this point probably in the last year, and we have a ways to go. <laughs> the language that a child presents with does not always predict their skillfulness in a variety of other areas. He's learned to do things that his family likes to do. Initially, that started with some instruction at PCDI. We have a big family, Aiden having three brothers. Aiden gets to do everything that, that we do. PCDI has taught him to play basketball with his brothers, and he, he can play soccer with them. He recently skied in a ski class this winter. It's really incredible some of the things that Aiden's learned to do. As difficult as it was to get the autism diagnosis, Aiden is a very happy boy. And I've really come to peace with that, that I know he's happy. Henry has been at PCDI for almost three years now. Henry was, I would say, born with global delays by the age of two. A lot of his talking was kind of just babbling. He didn't answer to his name. 
And then as he got a little bit older, it was more like single words or trying to say single words. We could see that he was getting frustrated, you know, mm -hmm. um, primarily just because he, he wanted to communicate things that you could tell the wheels were turning, but he wasn't able to really express himself uh, the way that he wanted to. So often we work with students who really have a strong understanding of some of what's happening around them, of the environment around them, and yet their communication strategies do not correspond with some of those other strengths, and we certainly saw that with Henry. Henry's articulation doesn't allow others that are interacting with him to initially realize his potential uh, or all that he knows inside um, because he's not easily understood when you're first interacting with him. Henry, it's your turn. You up, up. When he started at PCDI, he started with the AAC device. That was kind of the start, I think, to his language development. Within a couple months, his language just really developed so quickly. We're really shocked and surprised. And now, like, he doesn't, honestly, he doesn't really stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> He's had so much support here, especially building some, some friendships with the other students here. He's always liked socializing with other kids, mm -hmm. and that's one thing that uh, really stands out, you know, is, is his ability to kind of go up and try to be friendly with pretty much anybody, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, really is yeah. pretty <laughs> outgoing, actually. We work to foster those friendships by teaching them to engage in activities with one another by teaching them to identify that other children are fun and can be interesting. Henry's really efficient with building elaborate Lego models and we've also taught his peers what Henry's really good at. And so if you're building something and you're having trouble, who's a good friend that you can ask to help you? And we've seen a lot of peer interaction around those types of things. Despite this being a one-to-one -one program, there are a lot of opportunities for learning with in a group and for learning how to be a good group member and how to be a good friend, but also how to advocate for yourself with interacting with friends. And that takes really specific teaching to accomplish that. None of the students that we serve are able to, on their own, build those friendships without our support and very intentional teaching. He has a couple of really good friends that he's very close to. The idea that your child can have a bright future and, and have a meaningful and fulfilling life, that's really what is the most meaningful for us. We feel very fortunate. Austin had a lot of challenges. I just kept missing milestone after milestone after milestone. Three daycares asked us to leave because they didn't have the services to help Austin. He would strike his head on the uh, on the pavement, yeah. in the in the yard or in the classroom on the tile. I look at the videos still of Austin when he was throwing temper tantrums in school, like throwing chairs, throwing himself to the ground, and you cannot believe it is the same kid now standing in front of you. There's just no way. When he came here, he had just started to say a word or two. Once he started at PCDI, within I would say six months, he was already had like a repertoire of multiple words. Ooh, pizza! Pizza, look! It's a zebra! It's an animal, way to go! Many of the students that we serve come to us with no language and can rely on other modes of communication, whether that be problem behavior. And a lot of teaching is really required to help replace those repertoires. Primarily, this requires effective communication. The things that he was saying didn't necessarily line up with what was perceived that he wanted or needed in those moments. He was frustrated and we really had to help him learn to communicate those things. A child may effectively communicate what he wants and if that item's not available, then additional teaching needs to be done to teach the child to tolerate that that item's not available, to tolerate hearing the word no. Teaching someone to handle hard things allows them to continue to learn and grow and rise to new challenges. Austin really values being with others. He takes great interest in what his friends are doing, whether that's play responses or academic activities. He didn't have the social skills he needed to take turns with others or share. Those skills really needed to be incorporated into one-to-one -one instruction for Austin, and he's much more successful now. You can't believe the conversations that he's having, really. 
because it's almost like you're talking to a child that never had any of the previous challenges that he had. I found one. Oh. I found his head. Is this another one? Oops. Not There's the head. other part of his sneaker. Got it. It's really important for his family to know that he could play with his brother and his sister. He communicates with his siblings. He watches out for his sister. Austin is so much more interactive and engaged, so it's very different than where we were before. He's got such great relationships with the children that are in his module. We went to Henry's birthday party, and like just watching them hang out and just be best buds was just awesome. Yeah, he doesn't want to feel isolated. We don't want to isolate him. I want to make them included at all times. As a parent, you have all of these hopes and dreams for your kid. I never would have imagined we would be here, truthfully, because where we were before versus where we are now is just night and day. It's just sometimes hard to put into words <laughs> how much we love PCI and the staff and and how valuable we think they are. I think that we're like forever indebted to PCDI because we would not be where we are today as a family unit and Austin wouldn't be where he is today as an individual. Being part of this uh, community that such a an intensive thing for those of us that are going through it. And to be able to have the support of, of a, a place like this is amazing. I think Austin is definitely capable. I think he's gonna need help and services to continue to build life skills. But I think that that's all possible now. I didn't think that before we started PCDI. Having people who are not directly affected by autism support PCDI and Aiden and our family means everything to us. These children are incredible. They really, really are. And by supporting PCDI, they're helping bring out that potential.